All right, we're right here at Sun and Fun at the FA booth, and right in here, there's a really cool thing, which is a high altitude chamber, which means that we're gonna go in, they're gonna reduce the percentage of oxygen, and we're gonna see how long we can survive. And literally, you can actually pass out in this thing. The maximum they'll do is five minutes. I actually happened to do that yesterday, but I wanna do it again, so let's get to it. Now, how many have heard had hypoxia training in the past? Okay, so he's going to reestablish his symptoms that he learned earlier. The rest of you are going to establish your symptoms. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to take you up to 27,000 feet. So the question we always like to lead off with, how long can you last at that altitude? In two minutes, you'll lose your effective performance time. You can lose useful consciousness in about five minutes. You're going to lose hand-eye coordination, judgment, decision-making, reaction time. All of these are going to be slowed down. Could it happen a lot quicker than that? Absolutely. It depends on your physiological state right here, right now. If you know what symptoms to look for, then you know when to put your mask on. So guys, when we get you in there at 27,000 feet, the first minute you're in there, I want you to do two very simple things, look and feel. Look at those colorful four tiles that we have. You can use that to baseline your color vision and see how much that fades over the next five minutes. There's a color wheel right here on the back of the a wall right there of the pro. There's a little visual acuity chart in the middle. See how far down you can read on that every 30 seconds to see if your vision's being impacted by the hypoxia. Write down these three numbers on your worksheet, 65, 3, and 5. The 65 is going to pertain to your pulse oximeter. Concentrate on that top number. What's it showing right now? 97, 98. How much oxygen are we breathing? 21%, maybe a little bit more. In there, sea level, but 7% oxygen. And that means that top number is going to do what? Drop. And it will continually drop until you do one thing, put your oxygen mask back on. We want you to put it on when you reach 65%. Now the three that you've written down on your paper, three symptoms a day. That's all you want. No more than three symptoms. And the last number, five minutes to accomplish this. Now guys, I'm going to give you other tasks. I'm going to keep you occupied in there mentally. And let's see how well you can track. Now I've seen people get it about this far, even about this far, and that's as far as they can go. But once you put it up, you have to leave it up. Two doses of hypoxia in a short period of time will probably bring about a hypoxia headache. Now, got the clock started, so we're gonna go ahead, first thing we're gonna do is look. So baseline your vision with the floor tiles. You'll see how vibrant those are and see how much that changes over the next few minutes. And Matt says, I'm back on, not fooling with it. Good job, Matt. Slow down your breathing rate and just enjoy it. Right, you've been off for a minute and a half. Everybody look at the floor once again if your mask is off. Is those colors still the same? Look to the visual acuity chart across the way. How is that looking? Gentlemen, I'd like for you to write down the following heading. One, two, five. Write down the heading. One, two, five. Right, let's go around the room right here. Uh, Jason, how many symptoms? Oh, Warren's back on. Greg, how many symptoms you got, sir? One, two, or three. He's got one. And uh, Johan, how many you got? Two. Okay, very good. You've been off for two minutes. Go down to item four, two-minute column. Once again, check off your symptoms. Update your pulse oximeter data. And gentlemen, give me a 45 degree left turn from your previous heading. 45 degree left turn from your previous heading and write it down. Did you write it down, Greg? Come up with my heading. Two and a half minutes, now update your vision. Look down at the floor, the color wheel, and look at each other. Are you blue? Are you purple? Can you see hypoxia on that person? Yep, I see the smile. It says, I need uh, oxygen. Go ahead, buddy. Now look around the room as you inhale the oxygen and see if your uh, vision improves. And everybody watch him. See if his face turns red as the oxygen comes back. All right, Greg, you've been off for three minutes. Go down to item four, three-minute column. Check off those symptoms. Write down your pulse oximeter data. And Greg, I want you to give me the answer to the following question. You're flying at 25,000 feet. Say it, 25. 25,000. You're going to descend to 18,000 feet at 500 feet per minute. How long will it take you to descend? 7,000 feet at 500 feet. Yeah. <laughs> what does the smile say? Did you come up with an answer? Uh, 14 minutes. Okay, write that number down in a circle. Very good. And you've been off for three and a half minutes. Now I want you to tell everybody what your symptoms are right now. Holler them out loud. Symptoms is just my head is a little congested. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, it's not a headache. A little headache, good. It's more like kind of a dizziness, but without really feeling bad. Okay. I'm now at you're at four minutes. So. so go ahead this time, go to the four minute column, check off that symptoms or symptoms, and write down your pulse ox. Yep, 72, 115. My heart rate is going up, my uh, 
My number is stabilizing around 74, 72. So, so your body's compensating for that lack now, of oxygen. So yes, it is. Yep. And you're sitting at 72 right now on your pulse ox? Yep. Very good. Yep, 74 now. 74. It will climb back up, but it's going to fall off the cliff in a bit. <laughs> right? Let's try one more mental task for you. Okay. I want you to count backwards from 100 by threes, and I'll start you off. Okay. 100, 97. 97, 94, 91, 78. Did it again. 88, 85, 81, 78, 75. Stop right there. 75, I'd like for you to add 14 to that number and write down the answer. Now you got about 20 seconds there, 89. so all I want you to do is go to the five minute column, make your last notes on hypoxia, write down your last reading on your pulse oximeter data. 75, 109. Okay, and when you are ready, three, two, one, mask on, mask on. And everybody watch his face and see if we get a good color shift here. And he's going to watch for his vision to improve. And there goes a little bit of redness, so he's lighting up like a little thermometer. All right, very good. Now, I'm going to go around the room, guys. I want you to tell me how you feel. Jason, are you back to normal? Okay, Greg, already back to normal? Very fast recovery, isn't it? And then Johan. All right, very good, guys. I'm going to turn you over to Mr. Brad Simpson, and I'll meet you on the outside. All right, welcome back, gentlemen. What are your symptoms? The top of my head immediately felt hot. Like you wake up with cold, like hot sweats or cold sweats. Why you get those is your body goes into a uh, prioritization. It says, okay, where does the oxygen need to be? So it's gonna pull into the core, the brain, the liver, the heart to keep that alive. The extremities don't get much circulation or the skin. That's why we turn colors. That's yeah. why we get the tingling, like your arm falling asleep. And let's go over here to uh, Greg. What did you get today, sir? The dizziness, dizziness right away getting in, but it's more like it feels on your shoulders. Like a weight. Yeah, yeah. and then a little bit of tunnel vision, but not a ton. And then that stayed the whole time. I did the, the addition very easily. Mm -hmm. I got to the multiplication and I started writing a bunch of zeros. Uh -huh. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> just couldn't do it. Then I went to an easier one, which was an addition, which I think I did correctly. What I noticed at the end is on the very last one, my legs started shaking ah, by itself. Okay, yep. And I, yep. I, I had never felt that before. That's called myoclonic jerks. Basically what happens, the muscles are screaming for oxygen in those extremities. And when we see that leg jerking or we see your hands jerking, yeah. you're about Ooh, that far from taking a nap. Yeah, it's funny because it went down s slowly. It went 75, 75, 74, 71, and then it went back to 75, yeah. but that, that could be the, because it's, it was about to yeah. be done. But also, I saw you doing this. Yes, yeah. You was altering your breathing yeah. cycle, so that helps a little, but it only helps temporarily. Yeah. The best sort put the mask on and descend, and yeah. we don't have to fool with that. Yeah. Did you have one more thing that I'd give you to do? Yes, you did. What uh, was it? Well, you asked me to count down to mm -hmm. 75 and then add 14. Anybody gonna help them out? Do you remember something about a descent? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. descending ah, from, but I didn't write that one down. Two. I don't remember the numbers. There it is, there's that hypoxemnesia setting in just a little yeah. bit. So that's 25 to 18 at 500 feet per minute. How yes. long did it take? You gave me the answer. I did? You said the, I know I gave you the answer, yeah. but I don't remember what numbers they were. Exactly. I know it was 500 feet per yeah. minute, but I don't yeah. remember from what see, blood. that's just those little fuzzy details yep. that start to fade away. Yeah. All right, so your primary symptom was? Uh, color vision. Yours? Uh, the he light. feeling in the head, yeah. Yours? Dizziness. Yours? Dizziness. Yours? Yeah. Dizzy as well this time. We know what to look for. Mm -hmm.